Senator Black, Ontario. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Honourable colleagues, I rise today to speak at third reading of Bill C-15, an act respecting Canada emergency student benefits. I have agreed with many of the points today that have been made by others, and I will be very briefly add my voice to the debate. Let me be clear. I am very glad that there is support coming for post-secondary students who are mostly left out of the Canada Emergency Response Benefit. Unfortunately, student education has been greatly affected by COVID-19 by the pandemic, with the closing of college and university campuses. Additionally, many students have lost part-time jobs due to the crisis, and many will be diff have difficulty finding work this summer. This legislation will allocate $1,250 a month to each student and $2,000 for those with dependents or with disabilities over a period of four months. This funding will be very helpful for many students, and I think it's a step in the right direction. I do think that this pro program will be especially beneficial for students in rural communities, where there will be fewer grocery stores and essential businesses that will be hiring, and distance makes it harder to travel. Nonetheless, I do have some concerns. I know that it will be very difficult for students to find jobs this year, given the situation. However, many sectors will still be hiring. In fact, some are crying for help. For instance, the agricultural industry needs workers. No word can describe what I've been hearing from the industry and from stakeholders more than desperation. Even though the government has allowed temporary foreign workers to enter the country and is providing them with accommodations during their 14-day quarantine period upon their arrival in Canada, there will still be fewer now than in other years. Producers are in need of employees now for help with harvesting crops, planting crops, and other work. The processing sector needs people as well. We've all heard that meat processing plants have had to close or reduce capacity because of a decrease in staff. Food security is a major concern throughout this pandemic. The agricultural sector needs to remain strong in order to maintain the security of the supply chain. Therefore, we need to keep agricultural jobs filled so that the work necessary to keep our industry afloat can get done. The government of Quebec has offered student, students an incentive of $100 per week to help farmers. But will the Canada Emergency Student Benefit prevent them from doing so? Will this benefit remove their motivation to find summer employment? This is a question that concerns many of my colleagues from Quebec, including the Honourable Senators Vernier and Dagenet. I hope that the availability of this emergency student benefit will not discourage students from applying for jobs that are available and that the labour shortages in many sectors were considered when drafting this legislation. The bill as drafted outlines that students are eligible only if they are unable to work due to, the, due to the coronavirus, are looking for work but can't find it, or are working but making less money than the benefit would provide. I am certain that most Canadian students will honour these eligibility requirements and will still work if they are able to, but we must expect that there will be some who will not search for jobs knowing that they have this benefit coming. In fact, my colleague, the Honourable Jean-Guy Dagenet, has already shared with Minister Qualtro earlier today that employers who had received summer employment applications and subsequently offered jobs had then heard back from these students, or from these individuals, that they were withdrawing their applications. This leaves these potential employers now scrambling to find new applicants. The government is also expanding federal student job opportunities for students. I hope that this will encourage more students to apply for summer jobs, which apart from earning them income, also provides students with experience in their fields and better prepares them for life after graduation. I am also slightly confused as to why the benefit for students is less than that for other Canadians who have lost work. Students still have to pay rent, pay utility bills, pay groceries and cover other costs. Yet this benefit only provides students with $1,250 a month compared to $2,000 per month for persons receiving support under the Canada Emergency Response Benefit. 
The initial legislation also allocated $1,750 for students with dependents and, and with disabilities. That was increased to $2,000 each with an amendment in the other place earlier this week. I'm glad that that amendment was passed, but I still wonder whether $1,250 will be enough for students who are unable to find work. Another concern raised by my colleagues here today is the impingement on provincial jurisdiction. However, following Senator Vernier's question earlier today, we did hear that the federal government will keep consulting with provinces and territories. So overall, I'm happy that this legislation will address the needs of Canada's post-secondary students. They should not be published for their choice to pursue higher education and for this crisis that none of us could have predicted or prevented. I will vote in favour of the passage of this bill and I hope it will do what, it needs, to, what needs to be done to help our students. I do, however, think more needs to be done for other Canadians, including the agricultural sector, which is struggling. I hope we will be back here soon debating a bill for emergency relief for farmers. That is my true hope. I know that others in this chamber, my CSG colleagues have discussed it, and I'm sure we're not the only group to do so, who are there also supporting funding for agricultural workers as well. Honourable colleagues, the important issues that I've just raised about the measures proposed in Bill C-15 will need to be carefully reviewed in the long term in order to assess their impacts resulting from the implementation of the bill. In this regard, I want to remind you that this chamber approved on April 11, 2020, the establishment of a special committee on lessons learned from the COVID-19 pandemic. This committee was proposed by the Canadian Senators Group and agreed upon unanimously. I remind you that its mandate includes an assessment of the various impacts caused by the pandemic, Canada's level of preparedness, as well as initiatives that have been undertaken to address this crisis. The committee will also carry out a broad consultation of Canadians to determine challenges and specific needs of various regions and communities. The Canadian Senators Group is looking forward to the review, this review to be carried out by a special committee which is expected to commence this review in the fall of 2020. Like I said, I hope we're back here in very short order to do something for agriculture going forward. Thank you. Merci. Megwitch.